What is up guys, Vixen today doing another Sony Vegas tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to make a 3D slash RGB object. So I've got this little clip from iFlume I've already done. So I'm going to show you this here. As he flips the knife, it goes into like RGB. It turns into like an RGB object and then it just goes back to normal. So this looks really nice in montages, at least I think it looks really nice. Um, so that's a cool effect. Obviously I haven't done any other effects to this uh, footage. Just plain footage. Um, show you another one here, which is a bit quicker with the scythe hand. But yeah, it just looks really nice. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. First of all, uh, open Sony Vegas and find the clip you want. Now I'm just using another shot from Ice Flume, so thanks to him. Now pick the part you want. So for this shot, I'm going to do when he loads uh, into he loads the Nomad thing. So go and find the frame where it first appears, which is here, and click split. And actually no, so I'm not going to do it there, I'm going to do it when he actually loads into it. So go across with your right hand arrow key and find the frame where it appears. So that's there, that's the first frame when it appears, so right click and hit split. Then just go all the way across until the very last frame. So you want to find the frame where it's not there anymore and go one frame to the left where it is still there. Now before you continue, um, right click on them all and disable resample. So just do this on all of your bits of footage. Right click, properties, disable resample. Now this just stops you getting that ghosting effect and that um, kind of motion blur effect which is really annoying so I definitely recommend doing this, it really helps. So just once you've done that, get this, right click on it and hit copy. Right click and then hit paste. So if you go to the first frame you should see a bit of the gun pointing out and if you go to the last frame you should also see some of the gun pointing out. If you can't see anything you need to trim the end of it so make sure you do this step. And the next thing you want to do, you can add in uh, some black bars on the top and bottom so it's widescreen which I definitely recommend doing. It makes it look a lot more nicer and the effect just looks a lot better. So um, you can just, just look up on Google uh, widescreen black bars or something like that and it's like, really easy to find it should take you two seconds so I'll put a link to that in the description below so I've got mine here and just drag that up onto a new layer and it's really easy, you don't have to do anything with that just makes it look a lot nicer and it cuts off like the rest of final cool cam and your name and everything so I think it looks a lot nicer now <laughs> click on the pan and crop button and tick this little box down here at mask so tick that little box down there now you're going to want to go and click on the normal edit tool and just zoom into where you're editing around and then click back to anchor creation tool now what you're going to do is mask around this because this is where we're adding the effect this is the bit of the gun now before I continue um, make sure you disable this layer definitely disable this layer just it will help later on so mask around it now a lot of people say this has to be super accurate it really really doesn't just you can just do it really kind of messily and just vaguely now you might think these sharp lines look pretty bad so you click on feather type and then hit out and set this to one that'll just give it a smoother look smoother effect and just generally make the make it look a lot nicer now if you want to change these anchor points because I think it's a bit too much of a harsh angle just hold control and then you can just drag and move it around. So if you mess up or want to change it, you can do that. Now click over on this keyframe that you just made on the mask layer, and then go across with your right hand arrow key until you get to the next frame where it changes. So it's this one. So I just click on any part of the previous one and hit delete, and then that will get rid of it. And then you can just start editing around the next section. So just edit around it, this will take a bit of time, it will get a bit more tedious if you have longer bits of footage, but it's definitely worth it. The effect looks really great once you finish it, so just you know, take your time and it ends up looking a lot better. So I'm going to do that now for all the frames and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so once you have finished cropping around uh, and masking all of your layers, I recommend going back to all of your layers and checking that you have uh, still have the blur effect on. If you don't, you miss this on a layer, it will have a drastic impact. It'll look like it will look quite bad. So just go back through all of them. 
really quickly, just take a second and just make sure you do this, because if you don't, it will stand out, which is one frame where you've missed it, so I haven't missed any, which is good, and now you can just hit this X button. Now, before I continue, you will need what, uh, a plugin called the Sapphire plugin. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, Sapphire isn't actually a plugin, um, it just gives you a whole bunch more plugins, which are really useful and it's just so, so good. So, really easy to install, you just download um, a program and install it, it takes like two seconds. It's really easy to do. So, once you've done that, you're going to want to use the un S underscore warp chroma effect and just drag this over here. As you'll notice, it goes uh, to like RGB or 3D effect. So, first thing you want to edit is the steps. So as you can see here, there's uh, eight steps. You can see eight different layers of colors. If you make this 20, it all blurs together, and then we make this uh, three, and it's three effects. So, I usually like having it around five or six. Uh, so we'll put it to seven. I think that looks nice there, but this is just for the beginning. You want to go somewhere like in the middle, we see a lot more, and this is the main effect. So this is where you want to really decide. So, as you can see here, if you have it too low, you'll start to get the box effect because of uh, the way the frame ends. So in that case, you may have to make it more. So for this, we're going to make it 8, just leave it as default. Then you can, but you can mess around with this a whole bunch, like you can change the distance uh, from the center. You can even make it go backwards the other way. So we undo this and make it back like that. I think that looks good, so I'll leave it there. And you can just mess around with this a whole bunch. So just you can change this around. I'm just going to leave mine uh, like this. I think this looks quite good. So actually, I'll make this 1.2. I think that looks nice. So pick all these colors. You can even get rid of green if you just want it red and blue. You can mess around with it a lot, do how you like. So once you've picked that, that's pretty much it. There's not much else you want to do, so I'm going to render this now, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so something I forgot to mention is make sure this bottom layer underneath is visible. Uh, mine was not, so just make sure you do that. Uh, just double check that. So I've rendered it now. Let's open it, and this is what the effect you're going to get. So normal, and then it just goes to like 3D kind of effect. It's really quick, quite short, but I think it looks really nice. It has uh, quite a good effect. Um, if you add like different filters and you know all, all the other things you do in a montage, this I think this looks really nice. So that was pretty good, guys. Just a quick little tutorial showing you how to make like RGB objects or 3D objects. So this has helped. Um, if you use this in a montage or in a clip on your channel, please link me to it, and that'd be really appreciated. So that's pretty good, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye.